Hi, my name is Dr. Ravindra Mehta and I am the Chief of Apollo Bangalore Integrated Pulmonary Services. Today, in 2023 on World Asthma Day, we are taking up fresh information on this topic so as to look at it uh, from the point of view of what has happened in the last four to five decades. Asthma, unfortunately, is still increasing in both prevalence and incidence. More and more cases are coming year on year and we are dealing with this problem on a larger basis, especially after the pandemic of COVID-19. Uh, not only does India have the infamous uh, title of being the most populated country in the world, but we are also the asthma capital of the world at this point. So it's important for each one of us to know more about asthma because definitely in our circle, whether it's us, our family, our friends, our co-workers, will have to deal with this issue. So what is asthma? Asthma is a condition where we get intermittent cough, wheezing, breathlessness, and sometimes it can get very serious. And it has a great impact on our overall health condition and quality of life. In addition to the fact that it worries you and makes your entire uh, existence become problematic. What do we do to um, understand this better and do something about it? Well, first of all, if you have symptoms, better to seek help rather than shy away from it. So seeking help with a good doctor and the specialist doctor are called pulmonologists, but many good doctors can deal with this, are the people to consult. What do they do? They look at our condition, they go into your details, they may do a lung function test and after that they'll give you an action plan. We believe that medications is the answer to everything. But when it comes to asthma, it's not only about the medication. It's about medications and other aspects of care, health aspects which you and I want to put in our day-to-day -day lives. Medications in the last three to four years, uh, the remarkable change has been inhalers, inhalers and inhalers. And if I can leave one message in this particular talk, it is that inhalers are not bad, they are not addictive. In fact, they are the cure, the mainstay and the backbone of asthma therapy and we should not shy away from them. The second part is other healthy aspects live healthy for example we have to make sure our environment is healthy so reduce your exposure to traffic pollution environmental contaminants if your if your job mandates it two-wheeler exposure and so many other things which can be worked on smoking it's great and the young generation seems to be expanding on it and they think it's lovely but it's not smoking will increase your asthma and cause many other issues which are a whole discussion with themselves so avoiding smoking, vaping, electronic cigarettes is another very, very important thing. And then comes the fact is both for asthma and for the body, ladies and gentlemen, we need to live healthy. We know that we want to have fun once in a while, but overall for the greater part, if we can at least have a better lifestyle, eat, exercise and overall maintain a state of calmness and less stress, we can probably tackle this disease so much on our own that we require our doctors less and less. Now, how do we put all this together? It used to be videos like this that we talk to you and we hope that things will get better. But for some people, we need more care. And some people want more care and more information. For that, packaging the whole thing together is now called Asthma Specialty Clinic. What do we do there? A bunch of professionals, including doctors and other help such as dietitians, nutritionists, physiotherapists and sometimes clinical psychologists for our stress will come together and help you to solve your problem, understand it better and most importantly hand over so many aspects to you for your care. Such a specialty clinic has not been done a lot in our country and we basically have tried to do that in the Apollo system and one of them is there in our Jayanagar flagship hospital for pulmonology which has put this into place in the last year and a half and is progressing very well helping so many people. Another reason to put focused attention and know more and this is for the severe asthmatic and I'm sure you guys will know somebody or the other is that next level therapies beyond inhalers there are some new medications science is progressing by leaps and bounds and even a procedure which can help you to improve your asthma condition called thermoplasty, which has been a game changer at this point. So all this is stitched together in this specialty clinic. So what do we do now in 2023? We recognize that asthma is a problem. We put our, our minds and bodies together. We seek help. We do all the right medication and non-medical stuff for health improvement. And then on this day, because days are here to remind us 
to put our resources together. We take the whole WHO paradigm which has been put for this occasion, asthma care for all, similar to so many other themes which we have come out with, so that we can improve the overall status of this uh, disease in the population and have higher respiratory health and progress by leaps and bounds. Thank you.